Like many in the Pond Inlet community, James Ariak sees himself as a spiritual descendant of Anguatizawak and a spiritual disciple of John Turner. The planting of the word occurred into our parents. And our parents, through the planting of the seed, bore fruit. Back in February 1996, something happened. Throughout Pond Inlet, small groups of intercessors were pounding heaven with prayers for revival. Providing inspiration for this assault were two men with big hearts and worn out knees, Arctic evangelist Billy Arnacook and local pastor Moses Kayak. That's when the people were convicted and were drawn uh, to the Lord in a great numbers. And uh, they were so convicted that they, had to, they felt they had to clean their houses. The dirt paths leading to John Turner's old church were suddenly congested with desperate townspeople. Everyone, it seemed, wanted to get rid of their illicit drugs, pornography, and heavy metal music. It was coming in like a flood. We had a big can, garbage can, right in front of the altar every night. They kept filling it up and filling it up. Every night, they went to the dump and burned them up. After five nights, the town dump was full. As community leaders considered incinerating the remaining items, they received encouragement from an unlikely source, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. They had a bonfire uh, right about here where the iceberg is. The Mounties even provided logistical support. Five gallons. They said, we can even provide gas to burn up the junk. Nearly the entire community turned out for the burn. <laughs> According to the RCMP, the value of illicit property destroyed during the revival was a staggering 80 to $100,000. It was a deep repentance. The Holy Spirit himself was speaking to the people. The whole community was completely transformed. The afterglow of this momentous occasion warmed hearts for months to come. But it also hinted at a fire yet unrealized, a fire so remarkable it would be talked about half a world away. February 28th, it happened in the middle of winter, February 28th, 1999. Believers had gathered for a week of revival meetings at the Anglican Church. Hungry for God and troubled by new reports of community drug use, they decided to add a special Sunday afternoon youth service. Among those leading the meeting were Pastor Moses Kayak and his ministerial colleagues Joshua and James Ariak, all great-grandsons of the original lightkeeper, Anguatizawak. An invitation was offered for youth who felt they wanted to come closer to God. Worship leader Louis Ariak was praying over the youth that had gathered around the altar. I felt so close to God and he kept giving me this verse that says, blessed are the pure in heart for they will see God. Something started to happen that uh, was out of our control. This uh, noise started coming. Yeah, it started softly, like, you can barely hear it. A dual cassette deck used to record the service was still running off the soundboard. Right away, I wanted to stop. But it kept getting louder, and, and I started to notice that people were kind of getting a little nervous. It was so strong, like, so strong. It was so loud that everything started to shake. Fire went right through me. Sounded like a jet. Things start to shake. I started to shake. I told myself, there's no jets in Pond Inlet. After this extraordinary visitation, it was evident the moment still had power. Every time I thought about it, 
I, I was uh, greatly humbled. Uh, thinking, thinking that uh, the Almighty God can visit us. When Pastor Moses Kayak first heard the low-pitched rumbling, he walked over to the church soundboard to adjust the settings. I tried this, not stop, tried this, no stop. When these efforts failed to correct the situation, he quickly turned down the master control. When this too failed, he shut the system off completely. Still, the sound and the recording continued. It shouldn't have been recorded. It's only by the miracle of God. Came into the town. He was completely humble to the point where he wanted to continually come before God, kneel, and ask for prayer, and ask for the cleansing of the heart to become pure before him.